Welcome back to the RVA Sports Awards, presented by Rosie's Gaming Emporium and Colonial Downs. How are we doing, Lane? We're doing okay. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> We're almost there. We are just about to the end of tonight's inaugural show. Wow, that's right. It's crunch time. You need to dig deep with everything you got. It's the fourth quarter, baby. What are you talking about? I don't know, uh, just sports jargon, you know, trying to give it 110%, you know, leave it all out on the field. You know what I'm talking about. Can you please stop that? <laughs> There's no I in team. <laughs> Slam dunk it out the park. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Defense wins championships. <laughs> Both teams play hard. Why are you rambling, Micah? What's going on with you, bro? I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> oh, okay, Marshawn. Can we just do the male athlete of the year presented by South State, please? I don't know. Do they have ice in their veins? Maybe Skittles. Ooh. Maybe this is the <laughs> go for Skittles. Yes, I can assure you that he does. Let's meet some of these nominees. I want it now, and I ain't never going back down. I want it now, and I ain't never going back down. I am no regular citizen. No, do you understand what you're witnessing? You cannot tell what the difference is. I want it all, and I'm winning it. Our first male nominee led his Rams to the title game of the A-10 tournament. And even though they lost to St. Bonaventure, they still earned another trip to the NCAA tournament. After being named to the A-10 All-Rookie Team, he was named the Conference Player of the Year last year, averaging nearly 20 points and almost five rebounds per game while making nearly 45% of his shots. He declared for the NBA draft after his sophomore season and was taken 26 overall by the Denver Nuggets, becoming the Rams' first NBA pick in over a decade. From VCU, Bones Highland. I want it now and I ain't never gonna back down. I gotta go for the gold. I need to switch up the mode. I'm gonna win on my own. I'm in a whole nother zone. Our second nominee is an inspiration to anyone who crosses his path. He won the USA Para Triathlon National Championship in Long Beach, California in the PTS3 classification. He finished in a time of 1 hour, 18 minutes, and 10 seconds and is now working towards a spot on the U.S. Paralympic team that will compete in Paris in 2024. From Mechanicsville, Chris Marston. I want it now, I got to rise up, rise up. Yeah. I do not care about opinions, uh, time to make a few decisions, do it so I can take a position. I'm going to go get it, I'm punching and kicking. Yeah. Attack again, Terzaghi's there, and it's 1-0. Our final nominee once again ran circles around the competition in the USL League One. He was named the league's MVP for the second straight season after winning the Golden Boot Award again as the top scorer. He scored 18 goals in 27 games this past year, which was a league record, six of them game winners. Seven times he was named to the league's Team of the Week, leading his squad to the postseason for the first time in five years. From the Richmond Kickers, Emiliano Terzaghi. I want it now and I ain't never gonna back down. Said I'm fired up. I'm sorry your time's up. I see the top and I climb up. Came from the ashes, I rise up. Announcing tonight's Male Athlete of the Year Award presented by South State, Michael Williams, Senior Vice President, Private Wealth Management, South State. And the winner is Chris Marston, Sportable. I'm honored to be here tonight with so many wonderfully accomplished athletes. Thank you to Richmond Region Tourism Foundation, South State Bank, and all of the event sponsors. Thank you to everyone at Sportable for making sports and RVA accessible for people of all physical and visual abilities. Special thanks to my wife, Carrie, and our daughters for supporting me and dealing with the daily training routine. To my coaches, Ashley, 
Lucille, Jamie, Cameron, Alex, and Carl. Your guidance and direction helped me to reach my goals and push farther than I thought possible. Thank you to Challenge Athletes Foundation, Dare to Try, USA Triathlon and Paratriathlon, YMCA of Greater Richmond, Richmond Area Bicycle Association, Richmond Road Runners, Richmond Physical Therapy, Conti's Bikes, Hanger Clinic, Premier Foot and Ankle, Endorphin Fitness, Proactive Massage, and all the medical and technical specialists that keep me and my equipment in working order. Thanks to everyone who loaned me equipment and gave me tips to make improvements. And finally, thank you to everyone that voted. I am truly appreciative of, every, of all your support. I tell you what, with all those sponsors he mentioned, he's got a future in NASCAR. Dennis <laughs> and the folks of the track need it just like that. I tell you what. Our last award tonight is Female Athlete of the Year presented by Techno Branded Swag. Yes, it is. And yet again, all three of our nominees are at the top of their game. They're, we're thrilled to celebrate them here tonight. Let's learn a little bit more about them. Our first nominee came off a spot in the Olympic trials in the marathon in 2020, but didn't limit herself to just that distance. She won the Alliance Partners 8K as part of the Richmond Marathon and set a course record in the process of 24 minutes and 47 seconds. She also won the U.S. Nationals in the Half Marathon and earned a spot on Team USA for the World Championships. And she set an American record for the 20K while winning that Half Marathon. From Midlothian, Kira D'Amato. Our second nominee has played basketball and soccer, most recently playing on the pitch at Harvard. But she picked up the sport of rugby to get in shape for being a goalkeeper, and she excelled immediately. She began playing for the U.S. women's national team as a senior in college and scored her first try to seal a win against Russia. She also helped the U.S. women with a fourth place finish at the most recent World Cup and represented on the U.S. team at the Tokyo Olympics. From Glen Allen, Chetta Emba. Our final nominee was named the State Volleyball Player of the Year by USA Today and was a nominee for the Gatorade State Player of the Year as well. She helped guide her team to a 19-4 record and a spot in both the regional and state tournaments and was named the All-Metro Player of the Year by the Times-Dispatch. From Mills Godwin, Caitlin McNeil. Announcing tonight's Female Athlete of the Year Award presented by Techno Branded Swag is Will Winston, President, Techno Branded Swag. Good evening. And the winner is Kira D'Amato. surprised to be here because just watching those highlight reels of Cheetah and Caitlin, I want them on my team. I mean, I don't even know what sport we'd all play together, but um, just incredible athletes. But I think it's so special that the three of us were the three female athletes chosen because we all represent sport at a really high level at different decades in our life. We have the teens and the 20s, and then I'll take everything above that. <laughs> Um, but I'm so appreciative for this event just to recognize sport in Richmond. We have so many wonderful things and great things going on. So for this to really call that out and encourage other people to join in and participate in sport. And, you know, running is uh, a pretty individual sport, but I never really feel alone because I have my family, Team D'Amato, just huge supporters. And I also have the community of Richmond and just all the support that they've provided me. So I'm just, you know, I always say it takes a village, but I'm uh, 
I'm just so happy that Richmond is my village. So thank you all. I missed the purple memo <laughs> with you and Will and Kira. It, you look But you fantastic. guys got the blue one. We did get the blue memo. By the way, uh, we did not get a chance to mention it in leading up to her award, but Kira, just about three weeks ago in Houston, set a brand new women's American record for the marathon. I've had the privilege of doing a couple of stories with her over the past couple of years, and I know, did she mention her husband, Anthony? I don't remember, did she mention Anthony? Did she mention Anthony? Anthony, thank I know she would. I know she would want to mention you. Thank you for your service to the country, by the way. Anthony is a, a veteran of our armed forces, so we thank you. Even though I'm quite sure your parents at one point in your life must have advised you to stay away from fast women, <laughs> and you didn't listen. <laughs> Did not listen. But no, thank you. And we know it takes, uh, you, you know, I mean, you know, your mom. I could catch the fast woman. Though, you, so. could, you used to be able to, not <laughs> anymore, true. though. But I mean, you know what it takes. You, your mom supported you and your brother, Rondé, and it takes everybody at home to help us do what we do either on stage, on the field, or in front of everybody. No, it's always a major support system. My coaches were often my father figures. I didn't reconnect with my father until a few years ago, and it's been a blessing, but for the most of my life, my coaches were the dads. They taught me how to shave. They taught me how to do all the things that men are supposed to do. So thank you to all the coaches in here. You guys mean so much. And by the way, you'll always be coach, even when you're 60 or 90, you'll be coach. So thank you guys. I, I would just hope that we are blessed to make it to 90. And if I get to 90, anybody can coach me all they want. That's right. That's right. If you get to 90, you're going to need coaching. That's for sure. <laughs> just stand up. That's all. Just stand up. Use both of your legs. <laughs> Y'all started the ad lib. Don't, don't start me. I'm telling you. <laughs> Go ahead. What else you got on your mind? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, you spoke earlier about, you know, us getting older and, and, and like to the young athletes, I think you really need to be proud of the fact of what you can do at your age because everybody in here over the age of 40 will tell you things change. Am I right or wrong? Oh mm -hmm. my Amen. goodness. We, we oh, show wow. out different ways. Like us showing out for, like the way I show out for ladies now is I get on one knee and tie my shoe and get back up real quick. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> jog up three steps. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's showing out at this age. You know what? Coughing could land us on the, uh, on the injured list if we were, you know, we'd be listed every Wednesday. Folks, we want to thank you for being here tonight uh, for the first ever. You can say you were here when it started. That's and we right. hope this goes for a long, long time. On behalf of Richmond Region Tourism Foundation, all of our sponsors and partners, the nominees, and all of the winners, we hope you had a fun night. But before we go, let's please give a big round of applause for our two goats, Lane Casadante and Tiki Barber. And give it up one more time for Micah Bam Bam White. We hope to see you all next year at the 2023 RVA Sports Award presented by Rosie's Gaming Emporium and Colonial Downs at Altira Theater on Saturday, February 4th. Now to close out tonight's show, we would like to ask all of our winners to come back up just off the stage here and join us for a final musical performance by Rayvon and Brittany. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you all at home. So long, everyone. Set you free, so you can always come on me, darling. From that day.
Thanks for watching the RVA Sports Awards, presented by Rosie's Gaming Emporium and Colonial Downs.